All right, part two, everyone. If you did not see part one, make sure you go watch that. I go over some things that you really need to know if you want to be a YouTuber or a gaming YouTuber, um, what equipment you should use, and some free options so you don't need to spend money, and also how to capture it and get the video ready to be able to edit it. So that's what you see in part one. I also want to talk about real quick in this video I might be moving around a lot going kind of fast I'm not trying to show you how to use the editing software I'm just kind of showing you a very elementary introduction on what it takes to be a youtuber and what it takes almost to get to the next level youtuber um, so anyway let's get into the video in mature gaming Let's quickly go over what recording software there is. There's some free ones and then there's some really expensive and really nice ones. I've used both, right? So there's like Windows Media Maker, something like that. I think it's free. Um, I think Apple has Movie Maker. It comes with some programs that, that are free or pretty cheap to use. Uh, I recommend starting off with that or at least getting a free trial on some editing software. So for instance, my first software I used, I purchased was Cyberlink PowerDirector. So PowerDirector is actually a really good editing software. It's, it's pretty powerful and it's really cheap. Like for instance, right now you could buy it for I think like $47 or something. Yeah, here it is. So you can buy it right now for $48. It's an extremely good program for a beginner. You're not spending a bunch of money. And and here it is. Here's what it looks like. Um, if you guys would like a, a, like a video editing software comparison on um, which one you you should use or or how to use it let me know in the comments and maybe I'll make a video like that uh, I this is kind of my first how-to video with dealing with like screen capturing but if you want to go with a good cheap software power director is is really good it, it's pretty simple and easy to use there's a lot of YouTube videos on how to use it and stuff but if you have the disposable income or the some extra money I would use Adobe Premiere. Um, it's like a professional video editing software. It is like 10 bucks a month or something like that, or maybe it's 20 bucks a month, I can't remember. But I, about a year ago, I made the switch, and you can go back to my old videos and new videos, and you'll see the the difference. There's uh, You can still do 1080p and all that stuff. It's just, I don't know. There's uh, Adobe is just a little easier to use in my opinion. Uh, not at first, it, it feels a little complex, but it just does things easier. It saves you, your workflow is a little easier. It it cuts videos. It does little shortcuts in editing to help you out. So if you have the extra money, go for it. But if you don't, and like I said, if you're just brand new and just trying to start, don't spend any money. There's a free trial on PowerDirector. There's free trials on Adobe Premiere. And there's a hundred videos on it out there on how to edit. So I'm not going to go over that. I'm just going to show you what I use. But let's get into Adobe Premiere. And I will, will show you a little bit how I would edit a video. So let's open up Adobe Premiere. You will notice... Um, I kind of created a start folder for myself where basically the timeline has my intro, my outro. Uh, I've saved some of my my voice settings where I kind of add a little bass and treble and things like that. And I've also have a, some color correction saved. That's what I love about this program. You can do all that. This is again a very elementary video. I'm not gonna get into all that stuff, but you'll see my intro. Uh, that's a reminder, but you'll see right here my intro. In the trunk. You know, I saved my outro, I saved all that good stuff. But basically, what I would do, we recorded those three files right my face cam, our voice, and our gameplay. I'm just gonna throw them in my timeline here, edit up a little bit and then you can export it and throw it on YouTube. It's, it's really simple. 
this program is pretty complex and can at first probably be a little intimidating there are a bunch of videos out there on how to use it how to beginner videos uh, I'm not going to begin to explain to you how to use this program but just know um, if you are serious about YouTube and this is really what your passion is um, it's something you need to take the time and learn right um, go look at some of your favorite youtubers how they edit don't mimic but just kind of just say well how does he do that and learn how to do it and and just like a good musician right they um, listen to old Led Zeppelin or Queen and, and use them as an influence they don't copy them right but they they've listened to their styles and they've incorporated it into their music and and and, and basically influence them so that's what I would recommend so anyway let's go get those three files that were recorded from our Elgato capture so you can go in your media browser up here and find them um, my laptop isn't that great so hopefully it, it handles all, all the stuff I'm throwing at it right now but basically go in there we're gonna find these three files right here you can expand it so we can see and this is the gameplay file so I'm gonna throw that in here I'm gonna add the webcam on top of that and then I'm going to add our voiceover so let me expand this timeline let me get that in there so let's all right so this is just a test showing you guys basically so i think it's a little off i think something here we go that's why my voice is not see how the timeline those those weren't synced up that should help and then the webcam doesn't record like a few first seconds for whatever reason but that's fine we'll just take just take this out all right all right so this is just a test showing you guys basically me recording on the Elgato software just my voice just the webcam and the gameplay so it, the, the audio is a little out of sync you can you can fix yeah, see, I don't know why it's not locked. It's you want to make sure this little magnet up here is locked so that doesn't happen. I think that should have fixed it. Play. That's better. Okay, so basic, you know, a quick edit. What do you do? So I'm gonna put. I'm not. I'm gonna get rid of my little note that basically says say something interesting before the video, so it, it intrigues my audience, so they'll want to watch the video, right? And then you can just highlight all these files you just added and put it next to so you see so there was like a click there right we're not gonna want that initial click in the video all right so I'm gonna probably want to start there I'm gonna cut these files over here you can get your cut and then you can get your selector tool highlight all these three and you can ripple delete and it'll basically just delete it and bring your file back over there. All right. So this is just a test. So this is just a test showing you guys. All right. So you just saw me I was just trying to line sync up the um, audio real quick with my voice sometimes you have to do that sometimes Elgato will mess it up it's fine um, it's really easy to fix in post so the, all right so this is just a test so there you go so we're all synced up that's again why I kind of recommend having um, editing software you can easily fix stuff like that real quick first things first you're gonna want to see your gameplay right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna want to crop down your webcam so I'm gonna quickly go over to my effects and you can actually just cl click your web uh, click the video 
you might want to click motion up here on video effects I, I know I'm not explaining this well but I'm not trying to show you how to uh, an edited video I just wanted to show you how how I do it really quickly but how kind of how easy it is but you can make your you know webcam small you can add your background all that kind of goodness if you want and then um, then you can fix your audio so for instance I go up to my effects and I've added some audio enhancers to my voice so let me show you what it would sound like without out the audio enhancement it's just a test showing you guys basically me recording on the Elgato software just my voice just the webcam and the gameplay so I've I basically just added a little more bass a little more tone um, I've added so there's no clipping you know there's there's a lot of things you can do you don't have to do all that but I would recommend when you're um, adding your voice and your gameplay and all that stuff you just don't want to clip you'll see this little bar here on the right basically you don't want this thing in the red after you've added your background you know you're gonna want to probably boost up your audio here you're gonna want your voice uh, louder than your background audio right you're you don't want you hate a video when you hear someone kind of whisper in the video but you hear the gunshots way louder so you're gonna want to kind of check that out make sure that's not happening Me recording right now it actually sounds pretty good um, but you can go in here right click audio gains change it I actually like to normalize it to negative three basically what that does is it makes make sure that the loudest point in the in your voice in this track file doesn't go over negative three decimals that's you don't want it to clip you'll see this bar on the right once it hits that red point right there it starts muffling your voice you don't want that actually negative five is a is actually probably better so I, I would recommend negative five and you'll see it's gonna be really a lot much louder, oh, yeah, much louder which which is fine you don't want your people to have to turn up their head uh, turn up their yeah headphones really louder or whatnot right so then you want to go to your game audio and and you know we could set that at negative 15 and, and and this is what it's gonna sound like showing you guys basically so it sounds good it's, you can tweak it right maybe you want that less or, or whatnot um, you can make your voice you can add bass or add treble or you, there's a lot of different options what you can do with your voice for instance I'll show you I already have some presets set up D don't worry about going into this all at first but there are a bunch of videos on YouTube how to how to make your voice sound more professional but for instance I have bass parametric I think equalizer depth noise mastering multiband I'll just show you real quick what my voice sounds like with it and without it um, I already have it set as preset so it's it's going on it's in my a1 um, that's what this is this is a1 voice track so I already have that preset um, you'll have to set all that up yourself um, it doesn't just automatically do this just so so you know um, but let me just show you real quick um, this is a little more advanced don't worry about doing all this stuff but this is what it sounds like with and then without uh, voice enhancement so this is just a test showing you guys basically me recording on the Elgato software just my voice um, let me mute the background gaming background all right so this is just a test showing you guys basically me recording on the Elgato software just my voice just the webcam and the gameplay so I don't know you might notice a difference you might not um, I just do it I, I think it makes it sound a little more professional 
again you can kind of add some more effects to your webcam make it look a little more professional I you know you can add that's in your effects panel that over here it's, it's gonna look different depending how you have your your program all set up but you know I just I just added it let's see you can kind of come over here and and I don't know it, it, it made it look a little better right you can see it's it's hard to see it's real small right I, I can probably zoom in on 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 the editing when I edit this but it definitely made it look better you can crop it up so it's not so big right there's this bunch of different things you can do I'm not gonna go to in into all that but but basically that's a real short and sweet uh, of how I edit a video and let's basically get this video chopped up and into uh, a state where I can copy this get to YouTube right so I just added a color correction really quick on to the on to my actual gameplay that's something I do that again this color correction though that my pre I've saved and preset is for Call of Duty so I, I would have to change this but I'm not gonna bore you ripple delete that'll bring that my outro all the way there and um, you know Another thing you could quickly do, this is my whole timeline, my intro, the gameplay, and the outro. You can throw a little background music on it. Um, I use Mon Monica a lot. So yeah, we're gonna want to change that to negative 25. You just play with the, the numbers, right? Basically, recording on the Elgato software just my voice just the web so you know I'm gonna want to turn down the the actual game yes. to hear that that, that uh, gameplay is way loud basically be recording so there you go add the a little Elgato music software, just my voice and that's me talking obviously the sorry I didn't change the edit back to where my voice is normal the whole time but but you get the gist right you can do all that you can then go to file and go to export media and then I already have it preset but you can just go to you can go to quality there's even YouTube um, 1080p just click on that bad boy and that should that should look really good um, then go to export and it'll export your video and then the next thing you got to do is uh, export it to YouTube right there is a few uh, things left you need to do though right you have to make your thumbnail catchy title I'm gonna briefly go over a little bit of that and that's gonna be the video for today so I've talked about basically how to start a gaming YouTube channel how to record what I think is the best methods to use um, people are gonna have different opinions but I really hope this video helped you out um, the, the last thing you're gonna do after you made your video and you exported it obviously you're gonna have a YouTube account I assume and you're gonna want to go to upload and upload that video let me make that full screen upload your video right and and then it'll basically be in here and you're gonna have to edit it it's gonna look a little different after you upload but it's kind of basically the same thing you're gonna need to add a thumbnail or it'll, it'll choose a thumbnail for you um, this is something really important you need to spend time and and make a thumbnail so there are some free thumbnails editors out there um, canva is a really is a, is a good one it's free you don't have to spend any money just just use it um, you get the idea I th think you might have to sign up or something like that um, but but again if you're trying to um, after you've made a few videos and, and you got the itch you really want to do this for a career you're gonna to have to invest in probably Photoshop and that is how I get these really high quality thumbnails 
So th this is one of them. You you can go to my videos. You'll see you you really this is what people see first, right? You'll see your title, a catchy title, but they'll see that thumbnail. It's it's super important. So go. I have Photoshop basically is what I use. Again, I think that's ten dollars a month, and this is where I make my thumbnails. So I have a bunch of preset save thumbnails that. I use but anyway I'm not gonna go into how to use Photoshop or how to make thumbnails there's a bunch of videos out there but just know spend the time and, and learn it make a uh, catchy thumbnails bright and, and it will catch people's eyes and again you can look at other famous youtubers and uh, what they do and you can kind of mimic their style don't copy or but but it's the truth this is what helps <laughs> it's a little more money you don't have to use it there's a bunch of free thumbnail editors out there um, but just just do it it will help you out big time and make sure you have a, a good title don't do clickbait people are gonna catch on to that I wouldn't do that do good titles though have some descriptions and then your tags these are pretty important there's free there's tag YouTube tag generator websites out there um, that can help you out you can just copy paste that's something I wish I would have known at the beginning because this can get a little lengthy it's called keyword tool YouTube you put in something like a guns or whatever call of duty it'll give you some of the more popular tags and you can just copy it copy them right here just click which one you like and press copy and then you just go in here and right click paste that'll, that'll help you out make some playlists I'm not gonna get in into all that stuff um, you know don't use copyrighted music that's why you see that I use some copyrighted music and so I won't um, get any money for this video uh, you do have to have over 10,000 views to start monetizing your videos um, I will tell you guys right now I have not made one dollar doing it making any videos I've been on YouTube for two years I have yet to make a dollar I will show you right now my analytics I'll show you how much money I've made I mean it's a tough tough business I I've put a lot of money and I spent thousands of dollars trying to do YouTube and I, I've, I've not made any money um, well, I don't know let's let's look at revenue I think I've made like five bucks and then we'll go to lifetime again I you know I didn't monetize either um, a lot of my videos uh, until probably six months ago which again is stupid for me to do I don't um, I don't monetize too early make sure you have a good following before you start getting paid because if you make you know at early if the earlier the youtuber you're gonna probably have crappier content uh, it's just on it it's just it's a learning process that's just me being honest so don't you know make people like oh there's a uh, an ad I'm gonna go to this next video you know just just you're not gonna make any money for a while that's just the truth so don't don't have revenue too early that's just my two cents um, but that's the reality of YouTube <laughs> guys and girls it's it's a tough business but it, it, it's super fun like I don't make any money but I still have fun making videos and playing games with my friends obviously that's why I'm still here so I hope this video helped you out if you guys have any questions just write me a comment or if you want more descriptions or in-depth videos on something else let me know and I'll be happy to do that I guarantee this video is gonna take a lot of editing so hit a like or you know subscribe if you want you know I don't that, that, it is what it is uh, I hope, hope I helped you out and uh, Sorry for this crappy background. Normally, a uh, quick tip, I would have a green screen. That's um, when I'm at work. If you see me with a green screen, it's probably because I'm at work. I don't like this crappy background, right? But if I'm at home, there's no need for a green screen. I have a, you know, I, I like my background. I have a cool cabinet. Anyway, so uh, that's just kind of a quick tip. Clean up your room. Don't be too messy. <laughs> Little stuff like that. So anyway, I hope you make it big. Um, I hope you're a famous YouTuber. If uh, you are a new YouTuber, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll subscribe to you. I'll help you out if, if you need it. And um, anyway, I'm Amateur Gamer. I'm out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any new videos. And thank you for watching. Keep the change, you filthy animal.